a life draining endless void of sorrow and torture. We continuously return day after day, with the exception of Saturday and Sunday, to its grotesque claws. I am, of course, talking about school. Welcome, students. Welcome to Night Vale High School. quite a while now, hasn't it? It seems as if the city council has reconsidered its concept that because our existence is frightening, going to school would not be a good idea. We shouldn't go back to school, ever, said the council a few weeks ago, but then they up and changed their mind and told us all to go to school and become model citizens. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be turned into a ball of clay, although I was told that's not what they meant, although I was told it was. I have to say I was quite happy about this decision at the time. In fact, it was my first broadcast. Well, it was going to be my first broadcast, and then they cancelled school. Which would make me sound weird, as I had hinted before that we had spoken before. So, I guess now, Envy High, is our first conversation. Just think of me as that one girl in your class who probably is going to make a radio show one day. Yeah, that's me. Many of you still think that I have some kind of obsession with Cecil our wonderful, heroic reporter. But I can assure you, I just like to hear myself talk. But to my dear Cecil, you inspire me, and yes, I'm very motivated by your existence, but in a way where it's like, wow, I ship Cecil and Carlos so much, it like hurts. <laughs> in other news, the slight ringing you may hear from time to time is this bell I wear, and it may or may not ring when I am embarrassed. And now to talk about the art program by talking about the drama program. Drama is having a meeting today after school to discuss whether or not it is needed in Nightville High School. One very orange girl says no, it's not. When asked why you think that drama is not needed, she said it's like, drama is so stupid, because, like, we already have enough here. Well, despite your valid point, you look very much like my fat tabby Penny, who, in fact, is just a penny. And I don't mean that in a, wow, you're overweight, because she isn't. I mean that in a, you're as copper as a penny, kind of way. The principal states that all students are required to turn their phones off airplane mode, so that it may lessen the possible yet inevitable appearance of the mysteriously appearing airplane that has already invaded one gym so far. And he says that he wants to protect ours. It was just wax, and he prefers to wait a few days so that the floor can kind of dry and get the whole shine effect. Of course, the simple fact that the principal even exists in this school is pretty shocking. Since it was clear that he had no role or authority in the first place, shocked us Envy High students. Wow, dude, where did you even come from? Isn't, like, the city council always in mass control? Who are you? You can't tell me what to do. You're not even my real dad. And other such comments were made by other students that have suddenly appeared in the school as there was only five students before. But I have grown accustomed to the now 200 and plus students that inhabit our high school. They can suffer with us. Speaking of which, we've gotten a new transfer student in our Night Vale attendance records lately. 
Well, of course, I check those every day just in case I see who actually shows up the most. I'm very concerned for this new transfer student. And I mean new, like, we haven't had a new one since the 200-plus students that came five days ago, so we're pretty excited about this one. Anyway, it's a girl, and she was wearing these jeans, but, but hear me out, okay? Her hair was long and and blonde, but she was shy. Shy! I know. Anyway, it's because when I said hi, she ran off into a locker and screamed for a good five minutes. The problem with her long blonde hair and perfectly fitting jeans is that she's wearing them. Okay, so just hear me out. She looks popular, but she acts nothing like the lizard hell spawn that you become once you turn popular in the school. And I'm concerned without proper stereotypical grouping, she won't have a group to sit and eat with at lunch. Which, by the way, fellow students, is grape jelly and potato extract with a side of cow leaves. Anyway, if she sits alone, she will be vaporized, as is custom in our school. And, I mean, her hair is much too pretty for that. I think she's a natural blonde. Theodore Brooke, a third-year male student in this school, states that he is now changing his name to Thesaurus Book, which is stupid and should be thought through a second time. Mr. Landsworth assures us that today's test will be rabies-free, as he apologizes for the previous mix-up. If any students are late to class, they are to report to the late tube, where they will stay for a remainder of one day, as they are required to shout whatever made them late, and about how those things are now non-existent, and therefore shouldn't have stopped them from getting to class in the first place. This is opposed to the previous requirement to stare at your teacher with remorse, as now the teachers feel threatened, shriek, and hide in a broom closet, depriving the students from most important messages of growth, learning, and tips on librarian survival. And now a word from our club sponsor. Do you like death? Do you like having favorite characters? How about shipping them? What about seeing your favorite character do exactly what you don't want them to do multiple times? What about being dragged into a dark depression? A light depression? A mood light depression? A slightly less light dim depression? Anime Club, Tuesdays in the Library. In agreement with our sponsor, I have to say that I am looking forward to Anime Club as all of those in the geek stereotype group do, although the payment of airtime through manga and Pocky probably won't be accepted again anytime soon. And by that I mean I already have this volume and would prefer if somebody asked me what I even read. But the Pocky is delicious. A pointless update on that girl I saw earlier today. I'm not allowed to release her name, as I wouldn't want her to be more of an outcast. Yet, even if I wanted to, I couldn't, because as soon as I said hi, she locked herself in a locker and screamed for a good five minutes. Uh, oh, uh, hang on, boys and girls. It looks like I just got a letter from the school board. It's telling me that the overall overseer of the school is the glow cloud, and that all hail glow cloud. All hail glow cloud. Proper identification of a soothsayer, of an announcer of any kind or gender, shall reveal themselves. Proper identification is required. All hail glow cloud. All hail glow cloud. Well, despite my recent blackout, I feel as if I should start from the beginning, in case I left anything out. 
So to say, the beginning starts with my birth, and what my fire-breathing dragon of a father had named me. Cecily. So, boys and girls, students of Nightvale High, my labeled personal identification letter sequence is C E C I L Y, or as phonetically pronounced, Cecily. And I shall be your amateur high school radio host, updating you on each current and important event that takes place here in Nightvale High. Moving on to the second and most important thing. Pets! Why aren't they allowed in history class? They're allowed in all other subjects, so why not history? Is it because they couldn't possibly understand the complex themes of history? But history is just one big story time, and I don't get it, said Mark, a boy whose pet's name is Nickel. He got that idea from me. Is it too much to ask a pet that literally has a president's face on its face to be involved in history class? I don't know, Night Vale High. I, I just don't know. After the park of an unallowed specific animal type was pronounced completely unreal and 100% non-existent, I don't know. My hopes were up to bring my unnamed and unspecific animal type to said park of unnamed unspecific animal type, but now that it is banned because it is 100% non-existent and unreal, we can't even dream of a place to bring our unknown and unspecific animal types. We fear that our issues are insignificant to those adults that lost their other shoe this morning, and so we reluctantly subside in our arguments. As I proudly try and continue the brilliant mind of Cecil for the specific part of our glorious desert town, I will remind you that taking a short walk in the whispering forest is quite all right. Just plug your ears and take a brisk stroll. It's very relaxing. Ignore the whispers of the trees and screams of passerby citizens as you're really just trying to relax here, and, and the fact that you're dragging a body with you should not matter. Can't anyone have their privacy anymore? Well, boys and girls, just think about this, this all, this world, this vast space of empty nothingness and this surrounding goo area of a blue thick oil of a draining suffocating place that we call school think of it anyway you're probably homebound about now it's quite time for everyone to start heading home now at this age we tend to argue, hey, we are celestial bodies, kind of, maybe not, but probably. Us high schoolers are way more older and mature, okay? Stop suffocating me, Mom. Why can't I go out past seven? That argument hasn't worked yet, and most likely, although no one seems to give up on using that method, will never work. Coming to you from a small closet at Night Vale High School, because the school barely had enough funding for this club as it is, I'm Cecily Nightwood. Farewell, and good evening, Nightvale. Welcome to Nightvale High is an unofficial predecessor to the original podcast, Welcome to Nightvale, and is a non-profit, entertainment-only based project, aimed only to further increase the popularity of the original podcast itself. We in no way claim rights to Nightvale and any of its brilliant ideas, music, or art. Also, a disclaimer upon any character, maybe things that might end up, I might get sued for, so I don't want that to happen. Anyway, if you enjoyed this gender-bent, unofficial spin-off, please write us a review. It really means a lot to us.